Stinger missiles to Al-Qaeda? He was told that by a high-level NATO official and an Army official. And I've basically been told that they're going to blow my head off if I keep interviewing people like Tosh Plumlee. Well, look, I mean, I get on the highway every day. I could die in a car wreck. I could have a stroke today. I mean, I'm not afraid to die. I don't look forward to it. I don't want to die, but I don't want to live as a slave in a country where our government is run by criminals that arm Al-Qaeda so they can run around chopping people's heads off. And then you can use the Al-Qaeda threat to take our freedoms. What I'm getting at here is that it's a fact that if there is an Al-Qaeda attack in the next week, week and a half, or there is one in Europe or one six months or a year from now, they're saying it's imminent right now. I don't know if that's true or not. I know these jihadis are a real group. I know they're out of their minds. I know there's hundreds of thousands of them. And I know that it was in the London Telegraph yesterday and other publications that they let them fly around Europe. They let them operate on Twitter and Facebook because they're a secret army of the globalist. <clears throat> so here's the deal. You're going to let Al-Qaeda fly around and stuff? You're going to let me fly without putting me in a naked body scanner and grabbing my genitals. I've had enough of this. It's a fraud. It's a joke. And I'm not putting up with it anymore. I want my Bill of Rights and Constitution back right now. And the American people should be so upset about this. DHS says the number one enemy is who? If you're a new listener, just search engine what I'm saying. You'll have mainstream news. Washington Post, Homeland Security stands by terror designation. Homeland Security stands behind Patriots as number one threat. Founding fathers would not be welcome in today's army. Fox News after we broke it. DOD training manual, extremist founding fathers would not be welcome in today's army. You can read the official Department of Defense training manual. It's not even secret. Obviously, these are the bad guys trying to teach our military the founders wouldn't be welcome in our military. Well, that shows what our military is being turned into. Our government promotes open socialism and communism now. The borders are wide open. Fort Hood soldiers were told that Christians, Tea Partiers, a radical terror threat, they could be court-martialed for it. After we broke the document, Fox News picked it up. We did a part two article. In fact, click on that blue link for TV viewers. Fox News. And Fox News had a headline like, well, maybe does Army consider Christians Tea Party a terror threat? Then you read it and it says that. It says you'll be court-martialed. <clears throat> Since when can you not be an evangelical Christian or give money to the Tea Party? But see, they're on MSNBC promoting, saying Democrats, if you want free handouts and goodies, you better give money to the Democratic Party. Blue-collar people, you better give money to the Democratic Party. They fundraise for the Democrats on MSNBC. But then you want to be a pro-life group just promoting don't kill babies? We're going to come shut you down and take your tax exemption. Oh, you're, an even, you're a Christian group? You're a patriot group? We're going to audit every Tea Party group out there. Well, that's meant to intimidate you. But it's also meant so you can't organize. I mean, this is a takeover. And I've cut my teeth attacking Republican neocons and warmongers and the rest of them. The point is, is that you've got the globalists. It's bad enough to only have two big parties. They're whacking the Republican Party right now. And John Boehner's double dealing, making deals, playing golf with Obama, selling us out. It's all a big, sick joke. It's not enough to get rid of Eric Cantor. We've got to get rid of every one of these fake Republicans, and we could save this country. That's why the entire power structure for the 2014 elections, Republican Democratic leadership, has everything they've got, all their big political guns, pointed directly at the real Tea Party that promotes Second Amendment, national sovereignty, basic things. Because the globalists want to get rid of all the old existing Bill of Rights, Constitution, checks and balances so they can fully take control of our society. Let's go to this uh, General McInerney clip admitting that our government helped give missiles to Al-Qaeda. Here it is. Two different things in the Ukraine and in Syria. Uh, Syria, we backed, I believe, in some cases, some of the wrong people and uh, not 
in the right part of the Free Syrian Army, and that's a little confusing to people. So uh, I've always maintained, and go back quite some time, that we were backing the wrong types. I think it's going to turn out maybe this weekend in a new special that Brett Baer is going to have Friday that's going to show some of those weapons from Benghazi ended up in the hands of ISIS. So we helped build ISIS. Now there's a danger there, and I, I'm with you. But in the Ukraine, we need to show support in uh, Iraq against Syria and uh, in Iraq. Uh, we need to show support that we're going to go and take down, I believe, take down ISIS. And we can do that without boosting Bashir al-Assad. Okay, if we I back the right I've never heard such deceptive spin right there. We need to show support against Syria, ISIS. See, they create ISIS, arm them, protect them, try to bring down Assad with them, and now, oh, we need to attack Syria to get ISIS. They're going to attack Assad. I mean, this is just, it's just incredible what they get away with. Let's get serious here, ladies and gentlemen. Venezuelan Socialist Party swaps God for Chavez prayer. And I knew that in some of the old Soviet republics, they would have children. I know Cuba did this, and I talked to refugees from Venezuela and a computer programmer that we had did some freelance work for us as well, whose parents ran a school in Venezuela. And when the government nationalized it, they basically just made them work for basically free or they would just take it away from them. That you would set milk in front of the little kids and cereal in the morning. Well, first you'd have the kids all sit down in first period, you know, start a school, and say, all right, pray to Jesus for milk and cereal. Oh, hey, Zeus, please give me milk and cereal. Open your eyes. There's no milk and cereal. This is when Chavez was alive. Then they would pray to Chavez to give them milk and cereal, and there would be milk and cereal. They would then pray for their lunch. There would be lunch. And so the children learned that the state was God. Well, this is in Reuters now. Venezuelan Socialist Party swaps God for Chavez in new prayer. It'd be better to pray to the sun if you want to be a pagan instead of praying to Chavez. At least the sun actually gives you life. <laughs> People don't even think about the sun. A member of Venezuela's Socialist Party has rolled out a variation of the classic Christian Lord's Prayer to implore beloved late leader Hugo Chavez for protection from the evils of capitalism. Well, the only evil of capitalism is you become so wealthy, your kids become spoiled brats. Here's the prayer. Our Chavez who art in heaven, the earth, the sea, and who delegates, red-shirted delegate Maria Estrella recited, on Monday at the PSUV Party Congress, continuing with the blasphemous prayer. Hallowed be thy name. May your legacy come to us so we can spread it to people here and elsewhere. Give us your light to guide us every day, she said in front of an image of Chavez. I'm going to vomit. Lead us not into temptation of capitalism. Deliver us from the evil of oligarchy, like the crime of contraband, because ours is the homeland the peace and life forever and ever. Amen. Viva Chavez, she exclaimed. Two applause. Though Chavez died of cancer in 2013, he remains omnipresent in Venezuela. His photo is plastered all over capital Caracas. State TV frequently airs excerpts of his famous lengthy speeches and supporters sometimes don earrings or pendants with an artistic black and white rendition of his eyes. Oh, man. And again, it's not the, the well-to-do or the artisans or all the great people of Latin America that have jobs that are being fed on by communists down there that are moving up here. It's all the just dumbed-down socialists that want a free-ride handout, don't care their standard of living has clearly gone down in the last 17 years of Chavezian rule, or 16 years. And it's all just a complete fraud and a joke. And the government people live in giant command bases with helicopters totally rich. And they're running around robbing and destroying the middle class so the country's collapsing. And they can't even keep the electricity on. Communism doesn't deliver. Communism doesn't deliver. Visit GCN Communism Live. is dead. Communism is run by offshore bankers. Ah! 
after consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network.